two nights ago i was praying and um, I, we, we had breakfast prayer initiative yesterday so automatically you will feel that when i'm praying the night before that meeting i should be praying for the meeting but uncontrollably i i saw that almost all through the prayer session i was praying for um this issue with niger many of you who watch your news you are aware that there's been a coup in niger and niger the uh, republic of niger uh which is the country that is the, at the northern part of nigeria uh, there's been a coup there military coup the president was usted and um, is a military junta that is ruling now and i know there's been mixed reactions about it some people are happy about it some are not happy about it like the nations of the west other african nations and especially ECOWAS, which is uh, the block that all west african uh, nations are part of and uh, we've seen meetings here and there they've tried to bring diplomatic talks and all of that but it is not working and it looks like there's a threat of war the ECOWAS are already determined to send troops to go into Niger and restore peace and restore the uh, democratically elected president and Niger too the military junta, junta they feel that they are ready for a fight and all of these things I'm saying are on the news so I, I didn't want to pray about it but you know the Bible says the spirit maketh intercession in us uh, with groanings that cannot not be altered so I found the spirit of intercession praying that through me on Friday night and I prayed that God will restore peace and I'm saying it again that God will restore peace and that there will be no war there will be no intervention of ECOWAS forces as it were because based on what I saw it will be a serious disaster a serious a serious is something that has not happened in a long time but i don't know if this is good news and even if it doesn't happen like this though i pray that it should happen but even if it doesn't happen like this at least um it's not god that lied it will be me who didn't see correctly but i'll tell you what i saw based on what i saw there will be no intervention of echoes forces now if you follow the news you 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 will almost laugh at what i'm just saying right it's true and i know this is a risk but i will tell you what i saw based on what i saw it will not hold somehow by diplomacy or whatever means there will be an agreement and peace will be restored so i want us to pray because every prophecy is conditional right want us to pray let's not go now and not pray about it and then eventually the opposite happens and we say god lied no let's intercede let's pray we must learn to war with prophecies when god speaks to you about your family speaks to you about your life that's when you need to increase the gear of prayer and partner with god to bring its fulfillment now we also need to pray for nigeria actually <laughs> 